Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video, I will show you how I fixed the issue that I had in the previous episode and that is I could not figure out how to add a charts page for my new blog page content type. And as you can see on the screen, here at the top, there's a new add chart page that magically appeared since the last time. And you may be wondering how I have achieved that and the solution was really simple. If you remember in the previous video, I have created or defined a parent page types and sub page types. These are the settings you want to use when you want to tie your Wagtail model to a specific Wagtail content type. For example, if I would want to define that my blog page is a chart of a parent page, for example, an archive page where I list all the blog posts, then I would use this parent page type list and put my parent content model type inside the list. And it works the same way with uh, sub page types. And because in the previous videos, I had uh, those list blank it means that my blog page does not have any parent page and does not have any sub page page therefore my blog page didn't appear anywhere in the wagtail backend and the solution was really simple what i had to do was to simply command those two lines and when i look back into my wagtail dashboard and went to the pages page then i saw a new button at chart page so Let's test if I can add a new chart page of uh, type blog page with all the data types that I have defined in my Wagtail model. So I will click on add chart page and you can see it loaded all the fields that I have defined in my model. It has the title, it has the body and it has the post date. So let's create a new blog page. I will simply name it new or brand new blog page i will enter some uh, dummy text into the body and if you remember the body field is a rich text field therefore in this panel i see the controls which i can use to format my text i can transform the text into a h2 headline i can insert the image i can insert the link or even a document probably a file and I can enter the list, the bullet points and embed a YouTube video. So this is really simple and it's very similar to WordPress editor. That's everything I need. There's one thing though that I was curious how Wagtail uh, deal with is uh, internal links. For example, in WordPress, when you want to insert a new internal link, you just tag your text like this. You click the button and a new pop-up window will open where you can search for your post that you want to link the text into and it will automatically create a URL link that links into your uh, content, which is very helpful. Now in Wagtail, if I want to create a link, then I text or I select the text and if I click on link, it's what happens. Yeah, it has the similar functionality, so I can search for my content here, if it's an internal link. So maybe I can search for an existing uh, post, yeah, it works. Or I can uh, insert a completely new external link, or an email link, a phone link, or anchor link. Cool. So it has everything that affiliate website would need. So I will most probably use internal links and anchor links that's great i like it nice so to finish our new blog page i will set a publish date or post date to today and i can choose to save the draft so let's save the draft and i can even uh, preview this blog page so let's click on it and of course it will show me an error that i don't have template for this particular blog page type so that should be a uh, main content of this video. I will try to create a Wagtail template that will display the content that is created with my blog page content type. As you can see from the error message, Wagtail looks for HTML file inside the content folder with the name blog page. So I guess I have to create 
new template folder with the application name consent and inside the folder I should create a template block page so according to the tutorial each page model in models.py there has to be an HTML file of the same name and the structure should be following inside the name of the app which is called content I should create a new folder template and inside templates I should create a completely new folder called content because this is the name of my application and inside the content we will create new template file called block page HTML and now we are ready to add some HTML magic apart from HTML content we can add the vector content by using the Django's double curls notation so for example if I want to print page title I should use curly braces page.title or page.body and also inside my templates I can use the request object with all the information about the domain or the user and if the user is authenticated and so on so it's very useful so let's try to print page title and page.body and after refreshing Django application I see that it printed all the content that I defined in uh, Wagtail which is cool as you can see it printed brand new blog page which was my title and all the HTML content but what is confusing is that it printed the HTML elements like uh, h2 headers I would expect that there won't be any HTML elements displayed just the text so let's debug this Oh yeah, the correct way to display only the rich text that we define in rich text field is to use a filter called rich text. And to use the filter rich text, I also have to load the Wagtail core text. Let's test it. And it works. As you can see, the h2 correctly printed as h2 and the paragraph has a normal size font, so it works. Cool. What else we have here? Since our page is so ugly, I should add some CSS files. And we can add that by adding a folder called static. So let's create a folder static. And of course inside the folder, we have to create another folder of the same name as the application itself. And then we can add CSS folders, JS folders and images folders. And then we can uh, include the static files into the template with the tag static. Another useful template tag is called internal links. In case we want to print the link to another Wagtail page, we have to use page URL tag and it always returns a relative URL if it's the same site. And of course it will return an absolute URL if it's an external site. So as I understand the page URL tag, I will use this in case I want to manually like build a links directly into the template. For example, imagine having a header menu. And if I create a menu manually by myself, then I can define that the first item in the menu will link into a specific page. Then in that case, I will use this page URL tag and I will call the type of the page directly. In any other cases, when the URL is inside the rich text field, the Wagtail will automatically create URL tags for me. I hope. But you know what? Let's test it because we have a new page after all. And inside this page, if I want to create a link, so let's put a link here and click on link. There I will link to the root page. As you can see, it changed the text to the link object. When I click on it, I see the URL, I can edit it or I can remove it. It's very nice. This works actually better than in WordPress. I'm very impressed with how Wagtail deals with internal links. Now, if I save the draft, okay, the page was updated and here I refresh my page. I don't see my link. Where is my link? Oh yeah, I had to click on preview. Without preview, when I just reload, already the existing preview page 
then it seems like it does not update the content. But if I click actually the preview button in the editor, then uh, it will refresh the preview page. And here you can see there's my link. And if I click on the link, then it will redirect me to the default Wagtail page. Cool. Okay guys, so that will be for writing templates. It's very simple. It's actually about just creating the HTML and using few Wagtail core tags such as page URL or uh, page.content. But I'm thinking I might not be able to use the other content types. If I had another content type called, for example, tutorials and in the tutorial model i would have some specific column like i don't know for example rating let's call it the rating then i doubt that i would be able to print the rating inside the blog page html template this is something i have to yet to figure out maybe there's a way maybe not but i'm just thinking out of the box that I might want to mix the content fields from different Wagtail models inside a single template. This is actually a very common use case and it follows the Django's best practices of having multiple smaller apps and mix it together instead of having a one single monolithic app that contains every functionality under the sun. So this is something I have to figure out. All right, I think that's enough for today. We have created a Wagtail template. We displayed the Wagtail model content with the Wagtail template. And now I think I'm ready to start designing the web page. And I will start with creating the home page. And I'm not sure or I'm not decided yet if I want to create a specific Wagtail homepage or just a generic Django homepage that I have created in the one of the earlier episodes. So I will think it through and I will let you know in the next episode how I've decided and we will try to create a homepage for this project in the next video. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't done already and see you next time.